Patriots with an Rex Pines TV. I'm Mario Sun. Please stand for Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, May 24th, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happening today in history. Thanks, Bonnie. Today in history on May 24th, 1844, Samuel S. B. Morse sent the first telegraphic message over an experimental line from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore. The message, which was suggested by a friend's daughter, was taken from a Bible and said, What hath God wrote? It was recorded on a paper tape. Amazing. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Andy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. Officials confidently announced this week that the Summer Olympics will begin on July 23rd, 2021 in Tokyo, no matter what because the show must go on. There will be measures for testing in place, plus the plan is that over 80% of thousands of attendants and athletes will be vaccinated and isolated in the village. There is still a possibility of an outbreak as we are two months away, but everyone is steadily working hard for an amazing Olympic event. Fingers crossed. Now, let's go to Onalicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is hero sandwich, tropical veggie juice, applesauce, mustard, and milk. But a petite. Now let's go to Sonia for our national segment. Thank you, Annalicia. Good morning, Patriots. This month is National Egg Month. This month gives recognition to this excellent produce. Eggs are extravagant and the key ingredient in several foods like cake, puddings, custards, and more. Not only that, but they are exceptional items for searching in Easter egg hunts. Sure is exciting to talk about this exquisite food. The yolks just don't stop. Happy National Egg Week. Let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Sonia. Scholars, we finally made it to the last week of FSA exams. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. Patriots, the book fair is going on now, and it runs until this Sunday. Get your parents to join you and searching for some amazing books online while also helping to support our school. Link to the book fair is in the description below. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 87 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. Looks like a good day to go outside with some lemonade and a book. Now show us for the joke of the day. Thank you, Dee. And here's the day. Joke of the day. A snake asks his friend, Say, are we poisonous? The friend replies, Why do you ask? The snake replies, I just bit my tongue. Now let's go to Solomon for today's birthday. Thank you, Samuel. Great joke. Today's birthday boys and girls are Angie Maria, Slavinsley Pierre, and Kirsten Stevenson. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations and represent. Present yourself positively, kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Stone, Miss Ian Dequa, Miss Moraz, Miss Hendrickson, Mr. Bonilia, Miss Martin Cack, and Miss Barrow. You have the correct answer to last week's riddle, which was, "What is it a child can make that no one can ever see?" The correct answer to the riddle was noise or an imaginary friend. Now for today's riddle. When John was six years old, he hammered a nail into his favorite tree to mark his height. Ten years later, at age 16, John returned to see how much higher the nail was if the tree grew by five centimeters each year. How much higher would the nail be? Again. When John was six years old, he hammered a nail into his favorite tree to mark his height. Ten years later, at age 16, John returned to see how much higher the nail was. If the tree grew by five centimeters each year, how much higher would the nail be? 
Teachers, please send your answers to pinesarrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget to remember, reunite rides. Have a great day.